Hi everyone, Mitchell James calling and welcome to MJT Reviews. I'm here with my team and they're discussing the reviews uh, for Czech Republic. I'm here with Stuart Wilders from ESC Fan TV and he's giving us his opinion on Czech Republic, friend of a friend. So did you check out the national selection for Czech Republic? What were your thoughts? So? Yeah, I did all six songs. Yeah, there were some interesting ones there. All, all of the videos produced in the same house, I might add. Uh, it's somewhere in uh, in Prague. I don't know whether you clock that one, but uh, they were all in the same building. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I loved it actually. I thought there were some really good songs there. There was there was a uh, Jessica Rabbit. Pamela Rabbit was her name. Uh, that was a good song. Uh, there was uh, there was a really good ballad in there. I didn't make it, but they've chosen "Friend of a Friend of a Friend of a Friend of a Friend of a Friend," and it's 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 again it's a grower. I can see this song doing really well at Eurovision. Uh, it's the first song picked. Uh, um, along with, alongside Spain, uh, first two songs selected for Eurovision this year, and I like it. They're a good band, um, Lake Malawi, and I'd like expect Czech Republic to do maybe not as not as well as Nicholas Joseph, but certainly I'd expect them to qualify from the semis and get a decent result in the final. Could you see this being like a, a kind of song everyone's dancing to by the time in the ESC village at Tel Aviv? Yeah, I, I think there's no doubt. I think uh, by the time we get to Eurovision, regardless of whether you like it now, you'll be dancing to it in Eurovision village. No question. And I'm here with Lam from Vietnam. <laughs> He's going to be reacting to Czech Republic. So we're going to look at that. Last time Czech Republic had a camel. Do you remember that? The what? The camel. Oh my god. Oh, the camel. What the hell? <laughs> a camel. Interesting. Yeah, the camel. Yeah. <laughs> did, uh, did, are they bringing back this year? The camel? The can? Mm, no. Oh, um, we'll have a camel look. back, yeah. <laughs> Maybe he can like be the artist one year, just the camel. Mm, yeah. To be like lights and they'll be like, so just singing his song. Yeah. <laughs> so the song's called Friend of a Friend by Lake Malawi. Friend of a Friend? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Friend of a Friend. Go. Like, you know, Facebook suggestion. <laughs> Yeah, I like the way they filmed the video. Yeah. It's like a vlog. Yeah. yeah. More than a video clip. More than like a music video clip. What do you think of the song? It's a nice song. Like, I think the um, teenagers will love it. <laughs> he looks young too. I think it's like 20, 21 or so. Yeah, I don't know his age. Nice. He looks like um like a a, a an influencer like showing the the house. <laughs> what do they call it? It's pretty trendy yeah, on Instagram. Like Instagram YouTube. influencers. Yeah. Friend of a friend of a friend of a friend? Yeah. Mm. Not a very good connection. Yes, yeah, so I pick up a Tinder. <laughs> what? I would love to see him going out, man. Can I pick up girls who just stay in the house all day, <laughs> man? Oh, nice one. Love yeah. this song. Good melody again. Um, a nice guy. Um, I'd say he's... And his English are very clear. Mm -hmm. It's very clear. Um, you can probably understand what he's saying. Mm -hmm. But he's saying... Um, what more to say? Um, it's very trendy, it sounds trendy. 
mm-hmm. like you know modern popular music yeah um, yeah I think teenagers or um, people in the 20s mm-hmm. could be a big fan of this song mm-hmm. yeah awesome that's what Lam thinks the genius Elise Turner hey <laughs> What do you think of Friend of a Friend? Okay, um, this, this song, like I, I had a look at quite a few in one session, but this song I walked away thinking about for a good few hours after analysing this set and it wasn't the last one I did. It wasn't the one I listened, thought about the most, but I did think about it for a good few hours because it's just got that really cool summery, funk pop sort of vibe i really kind of liked that um in terms of breakdown we got another male lead but we got some female backup singing that's cool you know not much but just enough that you know you've got this female vocal popping in you're like oh cool that's like a fresh new thing coming into this song i'm only a friend um we got one one language we're in english for this song so you know english and english alone um Similar vocal, actually the same vocal range as French. So it's A3 to A4, about an octave and a half. And we're in the key of A minor. Oh, actually, this one had a really cool thing with the keys. So in the in the verses, it was a minor key, A minor. And then in the chorus, it switched to like the relative major. So you went from this really like sort of brooding, like melancholy sort of sound in the verses and you switch it up into this really cool sort of major vibe like this it's the thing that makes it sort of summery and like funky like i think that switch is what makes that work so that's that was cool um to have that switch and see that switch play out uh we're in another four four time signature so you know nice standard one two three four beat um BPM, so beats per minute. We are a bit lower on the beats per minute for this song. It is one uh, 108 beats per minute, so just enough to keep that funkin' bass line going, to keep that groove happening and just keep you in that sort of spot. 120 BPM would be a standard, so you're a bit slower than that. Um, so, but it's also not too fast. Like, it's, 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 it's a nice middle. It's not too, too far away from your standard, which is good. Um, in terms of chords... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight chords for this song. That is a lot. That is a lot for a pop song, um, but it works. And the reason you've got so many is because you're switching keys. So you've got about four, I think it was, in the minor so tonal- tonalities for the verses. You've got about four. And then in the choruses, you switch up, you've got another uh, four. And so that's that was cool. That's the reason you've got so many. It's because you've got the two keys that you're going against. And even though the chords are technically the same because the keys are relative and so you've got all the same chords the way that you phrase them and the way that you arrange them is what makes it that major minor split so that was cool you got that eight eight chords there are eight chords in a scale by the way (laughs) so that's what you got um in terms of instruments you got your vocals um you got your drums i think the drums were a really big um big part of this one like it was keeping that uh going and that was working in um, cahoots. Is cahoots the right word? Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was coordinating with the bass line. So those two were sort of really driving this song. They were the heroes of this piece in my mind. Um, and then you got a bit of synth happening, a bit of chimes here and there, just like subtle chimes. And then you got your backup vocals, which were 
both the main singer and that girl going, friend of a friend. Uh, and so, as I said, you know, that's, that's the little like snippets that just brings it up and you're like, oh, something different, something different. And you need that. You need that to keep suspense and to have that uh, interest sustained. Okay, song structure time. So we have no intro for this song. We're going straight into verse one. We've got 12 bars of verse one. Then you've got a pre-chorus for six and a chorus for eight. Cool. An interlude for eight bars. Interludes, also a bit like the the um, the introductions, unusual, not something you see often, but you've got an eight-bar interlude and then we go back into that cycle. Verse two, pre-chorus, chorus, another interlude. So we've got double interludes in this one. It really likes to have that long, drawn-out vibe that's building and have that as a thing, like a feature of the piece, before we end off again with another chorus or a coda because it's a bit similar to the chorus, but you've got that sort of like overlay thing happening. So it works as a chorus coda and that's another eight bars so that brings us up to what our two minute 52 piece long piece so that was that was pretty cool what did you think of the bridge where it was a thing speaking oh, she was my neighbor and we were 13. i'm not gonna lie that's not for me i'm not the biggest rap person but the, <laughs> thing, the thing that made the bridge work was the chord progression. You've got this descending chord going and oh my goodness, I could ignore them. I could ignore the rappy sort of vibe happening because that chord progression was so much fun. Also learned that one on piano, did not send it to you. <laughs> but <laughs> Need it. Oh, I can if you want. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely. But like you just have this really nice like descending tonality happening. And so it makes it work. And then having the vocals stripped back into that spoken word thing, as much as it's not my preference, it complemented it really well because there's, there's a lot going on in that chord sequence, that chord progression. That's a, a really out there chord progression. I don't know if, like, many songs would sort of hero that into the piece as well, like, but it worked so well. So that's that's what I thought of the um, bridge. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. So with um, the music video with this, you probably don't realise, but because it was a national selection, actually every, all six songs, they filmed their music video in that apartment room. Oh, okay. So, so that was him that. twirling around. Um, what'd you, so it was a pretty, like, quick, low-budget one, but what do you think about hmm. that? Well, see, the notes that I made from the music video, or well, the biggest note I made really, was that I really liked how it had that sort of selfie shot aesthetic. Um, it wasn't so much an I'm just singing at the camera because I want to be in a brooding music video or I want to be the hero of this piece. It was a fun, um, energetic and playful way to shoot it and it also made it seem more personal because it was low budget. Like, I, I can't guarantee it was. Obviously, you've told me now. But at the time, I'm just thinking, you know what, having this aesthetic makes it seem like something that anyone could achieve. Anyone could enter Eurovision. Anyone could compete on this level because you have this really... DIY aesthetic going on, and I really liked that from the music video. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Elise Turner, for your great analysis. And be sure to subscribe, see more analysis like that. And, um, yeah, boy. <laughs> until next time, bonsoir Europe. Goodbye.